how heavy your van is makes a big difference in how it drives, the things you can do with it, can I tow anything with it, what I, what I have left to put in it, what I have left to put on it, etc. So today we're going to go get a final weight of the van. This will be the third weight. We've gotten one uh, weight when, before we did anything with it. It was completely empty. We got one halfway through, about two-thirds of the way through I should say. And now we're going to go get its final weight and see what we're coming in at. So let's go take a ride. So we have our weights now, and uh, I have to I have to come all the way out to Lancaster, and let me give you a little picture of just how Lancaster this is. So you see in the very front yard of the of the cat. Cat scale is a Amish buggy, and I passed about a half a dozen of them on the way here. When you're out here in the Lancaster area, one of the things you want to make sure, let me focus you in there. These cannons just kind of float the focus around. When you're out here in uh, uh, the Lancaster area, one of the things you want to make sure is uh, when you're driving, pay attention for the, the, the horse buggies on the road. There's quite a few of them. Uh, there's a lot of old style tractors that are on the road. There's a big farming community out here. A big, you just want to be careful. Even though we're on a, a major uh, road of uh, Interstate 30 and some of it turns to bypass, there's no, there's no buggies on the bypass portion of it. But you're on a, a big portion of what they'd call the Business Route 30 and coming out through the Lancaster area. And there is a lot of buggies out here, so you want to be careful if you're ever out in this area. I know Lancaster is a really famous place for uh, folks to come and visit in the fall. In the fall and the spring, uh, they, you know, it's a big area for farm stands, vegetable stands, fruit stands. The Amish have some of the best vegetables uh, at their stands ever. Uh, the tomatoes are phenomenal here. So, But again, just be careful when you're driving out here. Lots of buggies on the road but I have my scale. Let's go compare weights and see what we have. So why do I have to drive so far for a scale? Like, doesn't everybody want to weigh their car? Like, isn't this just a typical thing or just a van thing? Cold. Get you focused. Nice. So we have our weights. So I've, I weighed the van three times uh, from the time we've gotten it to until now. And you know, we got it March 3rd. It's February of 2019. We got it March 3rd of 2018. So the van's just about a year old, a couple of weeks shy of that. Um, but the the three weights I got were the very first one was the van was brand new took everything out of it it didn't really have a lot in it but I took all the the matting and so forth out of it filled the tank and it was just me and when I weighed it it was a total of 5860 pounds so now this is again this is a 2018 Ford Transit 350 single rear wheel with the high roof and the extended length. It's 140, 148 inch wheelbase, uh, but it has the extended length, which is about, it sits in the neighborhood of two feet, little, maybe a couple inches more than two feet uh, extended past the, the rear wheels. So empty, brand new, that this vehicle is 5,860 pounds. Now it's rated for 10,000 pounds, which is really good because 
ultimately, you know, we kayak and 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 have some toys and we'd like a bit of a toy hauler. So we ultimately want to pull a trailer behind here on not every trip we go on, but many of the trips we go on, we're going to want to take our kayaks with us. So I want to be able to, you know, what we put in the van was really going to be important uh, weight wise to what we could pull behind the van. So 58, uh, 5,860 pounds new, uh, completely empty, no build out yet, rated for 10,000 pounds. Um, now, of an important note, the, well, that weight is di divided into two. So the very the the top weight, 3,100 pounds uh, of that, is over the steer axle, and 20, 2,760 pounds was over the rear wheel axle. So, which is a good reason why you when you drive these vans empty in the snow, which I did a little bit last year, they're terrible because they have no weight pushing those rear wheels into the ground. So that's our first weight, brand new and empty. Our second weight. We were about two thirds done. This uh, we got this weight in June, the end of June, 2018. Uh, about half uh, half built out, and we increased the weight to 6,760 pounds. So, roughly a little less than a thousand pounds we had put in the van at that point in wood. You know, one of the things you could do, and I've I've made some comments in previous videos when I was talking about wood where you can go out to plywood.com, uh, places like that, and you get the weights of the woods that you're putting in. Now, not just plywood, you can get weights of other woods as, as well. So, you know, pay attention to the weights and of not only the woods you're using, but the things that you're putting in the van. It's just real simple to throw it on an Excel file and, uh, and just keep track of that while you're putting it in there. Because what I found is by doing that, I came right into, you know, when I weighed the van, I was within 200 pounds of where I kind of figured I was. Uh, so, and we went over the, 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 the drive axle, the front, the, the first one when it was empty, the drive axle was 2,760 pounds. The second weight in June, uh, about two thirds built out, we were, we went up to 3,620 pounds. So the majority of the weight, the majority of that 900 pounds uh, from the first weight to the second weight in total went over the drive, drive axle. So that was the second weight. Today was the final weight uh, that I did on the van. Totally built out, um, and, and you know, I always say this, totally built out, but there's always some things that we'll do to the van. We still will be putting something, something on the rear doors, uh, but again, that might account for 100 pounds, uh, something along those lines. So you can be mindful of that and, and acknowledge that. So the, the weight today, fully built out, van fully functional, batteries in it, fridge is in it, full tank of gas, just me again. The toilet with water in the holding tank, uh, uh, the fresh water in the holding tank was in it. I did not have fresh water in the in under the galley. Uh, I figured, you know, that's water is weighs what water weighs. It's not really flexible, so uh, I think it's it's like eight point something pounds per gallon. Uh, so that those are things that you can easily do math on. But the final weight of the van built out was 7,380 pounds. And that's really cool because my goal is, again, the van is rated for 10,000 pounds. The total weight is 7,380 pounds. I rose, I rose the drive axle to 4,160 pounds. And what I, what I, I left myself room for, and... <laughs> I had to be careful how I say this and explain this. So the van is rated for 10,000 pounds. By just because I've left that window there and I want to pull a trailer, you have to remember I'm not adding that weight of that trailer on the van, but there's a tongue weight to the to that. And you know, when the trailer kind of sits on it, the weight of the trailer is on is on its own uh, wheels, but there's a tongue weight to that. So when I get the trailer, when we build out the inside of the trailer, I'll make sure a lot of the weight of the trailer is over its own wheels, not necessarily on the tongue. So when we add that trailer, it'll be interesting to see 
what that tongue weight puts on the van. But I still want that, that weight window in the van, not just because of the tongue weight of the trailer, but overall, how much weight are we going down the road when we're, uh, you know, maybe in wind or something of that nature. Uh, so 7,300 pounds, my goal for this van was to stay under 7,500 pounds. We have accomplished that. And when I say under 7,500 pounds, that's a dry weight. I don't have, you know, there's not food in the pantry. There's not food in the, in the fridge. There's not water in the holding tanks, etc. That's just a dry weight. Because, you know, some of the places we go, like a, uh, you know, some of the RV parks where we were at down in Georgia, there's a faucet right at our, our camp spot. And if I choose to uh, camp at a, a place like that, so I can fill those waters up right there at the camp spot. Um, so that works out really nice. So all in all, I'm very happy with the weight today. Uh, so total from, you know, we were what, 58 to 68, uh, that's a thousand to seven. Your uh, uh, that eleven fifty three eighty. Your twelve thirteen fourteen fifty uh, sixteen hundred. So we're a little more than sixteen hundred pounds total that we put in this van. Uh, is that right? Yep, about sixteen hundred pounds we put in the van uh, of all of this. So hopefully that gives you some kind of idea when you're building this out what that does. Now remember we tried to to not shave weight, but we, we were wary of that weight when we went forward. We went with a lithium ion battery from Goal Zero instead of doing AGM batteries, which were just a lot heavier. Um, so we, we made choices like th along those lines, uh, and we went with smaller holding tanks for water. You know, I have two six gallon tanks instead of putting in a 20 gallon tank somewhere. Uh, so we made choices like that as we went along uh, whether it was cabinet doors, um, regardless of what it was, and, and I have this on some previous videos where I'm kind of going through what we're putting in and, and just being aware of that weight. I see a lot of videos out there of people who have done vans in the past, uh, and they're beautiful vans, but some of, some of them will do videos later and talk about they wish they had, you know, paid a little more attention to the weight uh, as they were building it. And how much of it was on one side versus the other because you don't you don't you know when you're going down the van or down the road these vans can do this so you want that weight nice and evenly distributed so that's something that when we built the van we were really aware of of that and really tried to be um uh, uh wary to the fact of making sure things were separated out and equalized from side to side so one of the things you want to look at is inside the driver door you want to get some of your GVWR located up in the upper right hand corner of the tag here. So you can see I've been saying 10,000 pounds. Technically this one is 9,500 pounds it's rated for, the GVWR. And the reason I say that um, is the 350 also comes in the dual rear wheel and I only have the single rear wheel. So I shed a couple of pounds there. Uh, in capability. So that's that sticker. And if you come further up the door here you get, let's get that in focus, here you get your your tire loading information and so forth and what you can do there. So this is good information to know and have and just just be aware of when you're uh, loading this and building them out. Those are the weights of the van, and I'm excited because now we can start looking at a trailer and seeing what kind of uh, kind of toy hauler we can put on the back of the van now to tow around and put the kayaks in the back. So until next time, this is Ken seeing peace. We'll see you on down the road. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button if you like what we're putting out there, and we'll see you on down the road. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye now.